Hi everyone, I'm Maker Schoolhouse and today we're going to use our V2 to make a fortune teller or a magic eight ball. Ask it a question, will it rain today? And you're going to press button A. No. Am I going to get to travel to Europe this year? I don't know. So I'll be making this with the V2, the version two micro bit, but you can easily make this with the V1. Uh, you just won't add the music to it. So let's get started. So remember, we're always gonna start in makecode.org and you're gonna click on the middle thing that says micro bit and we'll start a new project and we will call it Fortune Teller. Some people like to call it Magic 8-Ball. And we go ahead and press create. All right, so this is a pretty easy one. We're gonna use um, a really simple variable and then just add some stuff. We don't need the forever or the start block so we can throw those away. And you can choose whichever input you want. I like to just choose on button A. So on button A, we are going to, um, well, we need to go and create a variable first. So we're gonna come over to variables. And remember, a variable is just like a container um, or a general term for something that there could be many variations of. So in this case, you know, there's an answer to the question. It's gonna be a yes or no question. Uh, and the variables or the three different versions of the answer could be yes, no, or maybe, or I don't know, or whatever you want. Um, so that's our variable. So we'll um, name it accordingly. So we'll name it answer, because it's the answer to our question, right? And when we do that, some um, blocks pop up. So when we um, start on button A, we're gonna set the answer to, and remember there's three different answers in this case. You can make as many as you want, but I'll just keep it simple and do three. And so you have to go to the math menu and go, scroll down a little bit to pick random number, plop it in there, and um, you're gonna have it arranged through however many answers you're gonna have. So I'm gonna do one through three. Okay, so then we're gonna to go to our logic loops and define what happens if the random number is one, the random number is two, or the random number is three. So you're gonna choose the first conditional block which says if true then, you're gonna put it right under the set answer to pick random one through three. Um, and then once again in the logic loop, um, you're gonna go down to the comparison um, diamonds and we're gonna choose the first comparison diamond and replace the true. Um, in the first oval here, we will put the oval answer. And so we'll say if the answer is equal to one, so if the random number they choose is one, then we'll say that we want the first answer um, to be yes. So we will um, show a string, which is under our basic menu, and um, we'll just say yes, okay? And then yes kind of scrolls by, but then like if someone missed it, um, I like to also put like a little um, icon of some sort so that they know what the answer was. So something that could be yes, could be like the check mark or the happy face. Now with the V2, I like to add some music playing in the background while it gives you the answer. Um, and so under music, you're gonna scroll down to where it says microbit V2, and you're gonna choose the second one that says play sound giggle until done. And we can just plop this right under if answer is equal to one. Um, now it's going to, at this point, if I um, play it, it's gonna play the entire giggle music until, and then it'll say yes and show the happy face. But if you notice, there's a drop down menu right here. We wanna say in background. So it's actually gonna be playing the giggle music in the background while the yes is scrolling by and then the happy face shows. Um, so definitely be sure you change that. Now um, we need the two other answers for if the random number is two or three. If you hover over the um, if right here and click on it, it turns this entire block yellow. And then you can just use your um, paste, your copy and paste functions, depending on if you're using a Mac or a PC. Um, and you can just paste that underneath and you can change this answer to two. And so then um, whatever you want your answer to be for two and then change your icon or your um, little emoji. We'll put a sad face for no. Um, and then you just paste it one more time, place it under there. And if the answer is three, um, then you can put, I don't know. And I like to use the neutral face or the sleepy face or some people call it the meh face. Um, and also don't forget to change the sound. So number two will be sad. And then for three, we'll say, I don't know, is a little bit mysterious. Okay, so now you have your whole little code. And in the similar, you can test it out. Yes, is the giggle happy face sound. I don't know, is a little mysterious. 
and then no. So notice how when you do this, it just kind of gives you the answer instantaneously, and we want to kind of make it seem like the micro bit is thinking to give it a little time, a little bit of anticipation before it spits out your answer. So let's go ahead and make a little animation um, right after you press button A. So to do that, we are going to choose um, three show LEDs in the basic menu, and we'll make a little animation really quickly. And we'll repeat that animation. So we want to get um, a repeat block and put it there. Um, now notice my repeat block repeated everything, but we only want it to repeat those three LEDs. So just click on that and put it underneath the repeat. There we go. I'm going to click all the outermost pixels and I'm just going to kind of make it look like it is thinking very hard about my question. Um, and it's gonna go boom, boom, boom. And then in between those, I also want to play a little bit of some music. So we'll go down to um, play sound blank until done. So we can put that here, change the until done in the background. And it does have a gallery of sounds. Um, I kind of like the jump sound. It kind of sound, sounds like Mario and I love Mario. Um, so we'll put that there and you can just do control C control V and put it in between each of your LEDs like so. Okay, cool. Now we have a little animation, but we want to change this to two because four is going to be too long to wait. We don't want to keep our people waiting for their answer. So now we can choose the simulator and the answer was no. Okay, and you see how there's like a little dot before it gives you the answer. So to avoid that, I'm just gonna go ahead and place a blank LED um, right after the repeat. So before it shows you the answer, it gives you a blank screen. So let's see how that looks. That's much better. It gives it a little bit of break so you can read your answer. I don't know, I love it. Okay, let's last but not least, let's download it onto our micro bit. Oh, it should be downloaded now. We can ask it a question. Is this gonna be the best tutorial ever? Please be yes, please be yes. Yes, ha ha. Um, I don't know, does my dog love me? Oh man, I need to give him some more treats. You guys get the idea. Super cool. Yeah, this will keep people entertained for hours. So there you have it, the fortune teller, AKA magic eight ball on the micro bit V2. Remember this whole thing will work perfectly on the V1. You just don't add the music. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and um, stay tuned for more fun projects. They're gonna get more difficult as we move on. Um, I'm Maker Schoolhouse, please subscribe below and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, bye.